Get ready to change some oil. Only problem is we can't find the jack point on the 11th gen. So we're really praying there is one. So we did find the jack point. But the annoying part is Honda did everything in their power to make sure it was very, very, very hard for people to do maintenance at home because the only jack point is right in the center of the dang car. Jack point is right behind the splash shield, which is practically inaccessible because it's like literally right there. What kind of jack are you going to stick under there that's going to fit? If you have a ramp, that'd be better. But because of my lip, I don't have clearance, so I can't clear these ramps. Yet another reason why the easy lip is nice because I wouldn't really care if I rubbed against the ramp and yeah. Now we're doing it the old school way. I think we have this little mount in the pinch weld or something and we're just gonna raise it up and hopefully inch our way in. Don't forget your safety blocks. Chocks for those who don't know. Now we're able to sh slide it under. Found the mount. Let's see if it will work. All right, here we go. Made a weird creak at first, but at least it's lifting now. Let's just hope it doesn't collapse. Ha <laughs> ha. Next, we'll place these stands on both sides and the car should be stable. Looks like whoever worked on my car at Honda forgot two bolts because it's missing two whole bolts. I mean, I don't know if that's going to be a, an issue. I've been driving around a whole year without it, but still. Tis tisk. First thing first is to take off the splash shield, which are held in by typical clips here. You can use a little uh, uh, flathead to get it off. There's two of these screws on there too that you'll need to release um, and they can be released by the Phillips screwdriver. And it comes off very easily, just like that. That's the oil filter. Drain plug here. That's the drain plug. That's it. 17 millimeter socket. The spider. Okay. Anyway, spider has been demolished. <laughs> take your 17 millimeter socket on your little ratchet and you can take out the lug nuts on your engine oil right there. Okay. Oh, all right. Yep, it's gonna take some elbow grease. And the oil will come rolling out once you remove that lug. Oh, oh, we did it. We caught it. That was very sudden. The next part is easy. You just let it drain until it stops. We recommend you use a new crush nut um, when you change out, is this a new lug too? No. Oh, why is it so clean? Is it didn't get... Oh, anyway, <laughs> use the old lug and the new crush nut and put it back. A man has never been more at peace than under the bed of a car. Go sleep. Next up, we get the oil filter. Gotta use our little handy dandy tool though, cause it is like near impossible to do it with your bare hands. More oil coming out. Now we can unwind it out once the oil stops dripping. Ta da! Once it's all out and drained, you put the lug back on and then we're gonna attach the new canister. Make sure you tighten the lug that we put back on. Not too tight though, just enough. This is the oil filter we're using. We got it from Walmart, but I think you can get it at most places. Before we put in the oil filter, I guess we're going to lube it with some oil. We're going to use this parts cleaner oh, spray and oh my god. And then we're going to spray the area to clean it up. Okay, bye. Obviously, do not inhale the parts cleaner, please. We forgot why we did this, but we usually pour in some oil before we attach the new one on. Yeah. Again, completely forgot why. It's just become standard practice for us now, but that's what we do. And then you can twist it back on. And once you can tighten it, you're done with the bottom portion. You just got to put back on the splash guard right there. And then we'll move on to the fun part, which is filling up the gentle giant. Next, we'll pop the hood. All you have to do is pull the latch right there. And it'll open. We're using 020 oil. You can see that on the cap of your car. If y'all doing this without a funnel, y'all wildin'. Here it goes in one bottle. Bottle number two, chug chug. 
Always do a check to make sure no oil's leaking through. We're clear. Dang, bottle number three, he hungry. We do about four quarts, and then we're gonna check to make sure the levels are good afterwards. Four quarts is four of these little jugs. Let's turn her on. That's it. Check our little oil stick. It's about almost halfway point, which is good. You want, you want it in between. Oh, there it is. Yeah. We're set. For this 11th gen Civic, the oil capacity is only 3.7 quarts. So we were pretty much on the dot with four. One of the things you have to do for regular maintenance is clean your air filter or change it out. We actually changed this out less than a year ago. So we're just going to clean it for now. We're not going to replace it. It is the PRL stage one intake. I actually was considering getting the stage two, but it's kind of expensive. So we'll hold off for now. We're using this to clean the air filter. I totally forgot where I got it from, or maybe it came with my old uh, air filter from my Lexus, but I don't know. It should still work though. finish it off we're gonna clean our little filter with our solution here should have read the instructions but you have to let it soak and then dry naturally so we're gonna have to wait a good 30 minutes or so we're also gonna change the cabin filter we already changed it once and we've definitely driven less than 20,000 miles but mr. mechanic forgot but also we take the car out to the outback quite often it's probably dirty it doesn't hurt to change it out there's a little notch you use and you can just take out um, the glove box it's not really a notch but you kind of you see that it hooks on you can just gently unhook it and there you'll find the cabin air filter with the little clips oh, and it's right there super easy let's see how dirty it really is we might not even need to change it but it kind of looking dirty what actually it's what's wrong what's wrong what's wrong with it <laughs> why does it look like that why is it crushed yo <laughs> I've never seen a cabin air filter that looked like that. So some factory air, uh, cabin air filters will have the arrows pointing up. That's the direction you'll use. Some aftermarket ones will have it the other way. We're just down. Make sure you check yours to see which one it is. So this one's actually down. Our old one, it has the arrow going down. So that's the direction you would put it in. So it took a little under 15 minutes to do, which is perfect timing for the filter because we have to spray off the cleaning condition now and then let it air dry. If you're using a stock air filter, you do not have to go through all this trouble. It's because we're using an aftermarket one, which we can reuse and clean like we're doing back there. If you're using an OEM one or a stock one, just replace it. Also for this maintenance, we didn't do a tire rotation. We don't have the tools for that. So I'm gonna schedule an appointment elsewhere when it's due. I actually just got it rotated somewhat recently. So we don't even need it yet for this maintenance. After drying for about 20, 30 minutes now, you're gonna spray this onto there and you can put it back in. Here's how you can change your maintenance schedule thing. I hope it'll let me because my hood is open still. But scroll to the maintenance or oil life screen and you're going to hold down the button. Might take a while. It might not work at all. Oh, there you go. And I'll do items. All done. 100%. No more maintenance required notification. We've got all the doors closed, everything screwed down. Hopefully no check engine sign. Oh, let me close my door. Perfect, everything's good. And that is how you do basic maintenance on your 11th gen Honda Civic. I know a lot of people have been asking for RSX content. Please just give me more time, it's coming. It's coming once summer is actually here and once we finish all the regular maintenance on my daily driver we can actually start working on the project car. I do have one more video of the Civic in the pipeline. It's gonna be, oh my god, it's gonna be a car tour and just how I accessorize the car because a lot of people have been asking about what I have inside the car which I actually have it decked out to be very ergonomic. Other than that, thank you for following along the video. Until next time, I guess. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe, whatever, you know, work the algorithm. Peace.